No arena in the home coffee market is more hotly contested than that of the sub $300 coffee grinders. For the past few years, the front has been pretty quiet, but a new company is stepping into the ring. That company is Eureka, and the ace up their sleeve is the new Mignon Filtro. At a glance, the form factor may seem familiar. Eureka has been making great use of its new Mignon body as a platform, adapting it to create grinders with different specs for different tasks. The Filtro is the newest example. The all-aluminum frame makes it tough and gives it a premium feel that comparable grinders simply can't compete with. It has 50mm burrs like its espresso-focused siblings, but they're cut in a way that optimizes them for the coarser settings required for other brew methods. Internally, it boasts the same 260-watt motor as the Mignon Silenzio, so it's plenty powerful and can grind a 20-gram dose for drip coffee in around 15 seconds. A lot of this is due to the new burr profile and the lack of a screen normally installed on the espresso models. On an espresso grinder, the screen helps reduce clumping, but removing it on a brew grinder helps ensure that grounds flow out quickly, substantially improving particle size distribution. As always, Eureka's micrometric grind adjustment dial makes for easy adjustment whether you're fine-tuning or switching from pour-over to French press. Our tests across the entire range of brew methods gave us delicious results. It's quickly become our go-to grinder for drip coffee around the office, where we've used it for everything from African single origins to traditional dark roasted blends. Dialing in by eye, we were able to consistently get perfect extractions on our first or second batch. When tasked with grinding espresso, the Filtro does a good job. Since the burrs aren't specifically designed for it, we still recommend the Specialita or Silenzio for the best tasting espresso, but that doesn't mean we weren't impressed. The power and fine tune adjustment are there to make it possible, which is where other entry level grinders fall short of making good espresso. If you pull a shot every now and then, or use a manual or stovetop espresso maker, this ability to confidently grind for any brew method is a huge asset. We're impressed with the flavor we got from our coffee with this grinder, but aside from targeting extraction percentages, it's hard to be objective about taste. What's far easier is to look at the build quality and performance of these grinders. In those departments, it's easy to see that they stand head and shoulders above the competition while being quieter, more versatile, and just as compact. If this video answered your questions about the Eureka Mignon Filtro, be sure to hit the like button. If it didn't, or if you have any other questions, I'd be glad to field them in the comments below. For more coffee knowledge, tap subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.